Well, folks, um, this is just another ghastly reminder of life, existence, and death. And I was in the backyard, and I noticed this, um, the remnants of a carcass of a, a baby, a doe, or a, 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 a very young deer. And I don't remember seeing this until like recently, until basically it was just bones left. Um, I'm guessing the deer probably got hit by a car and this is what's left. And you know, I didn't even see it. It, it was such a small deer that didn't even see it in the backyard. But, I mean, I guess it could be looked at as um, sparing, sparing more harm. Every time I, I hear of a baby or a toddler or a child who died young, no matter what the circumstances, absolutely no matter how horrific the death was, they were spared aging, declining, and suffering through existence throughout the ages. And just like this baby baby deer, this young deer, I mean, this deer was probably, you know, 20 pounds or less, but he or she was spared a great deal of harm in life because um, he or she will never get sick, um, never suffer with age-related diseases and issues, and its life was terminated while it was young. So you can only look at life uh, and, I mean, death as sparing. And I know that's very difficult to swallow if you have lost a, a child or a family member or a pet or anybody who is young, but it is sparing all future harm. And that is the only consolation that it can give to the living. The people who are left behind are the ones who suffer. The, um, the individual who died was spared harm and they are in eternal peace. And it was sad that they even came into existence in order to just suffer, decline, perish, and die. Thank you for watching my video and please share and subscribe if you already haven't.